delegate with another, she had to learn everything about the other delegate's country. And because of the language barriers, barriers, you can imagine how tough that is, so they had to be very creative and create their own ways to communicate. So let's see how they did. Spain. Here you are. So Spain gave up her siesta to discover the culture of Taiwan. Can you tell me how they dance in Taiwan and could you possibly show us? ¿Nos puedes contar cómo es que bailan en Taiwán y podrías hacernos una demostración? <risa> sí, ¿cómo no? En, es un baile sobre todo que mueve, es muy lento, es muy diferente al español y mueven sobre todo las manos con unas varas y unas cintas. ¿Yo os lo puedo bailar? The, their dancing is very different from ours. It's much slower and above all they make a lot of hand movements and they use like these uh, special rods and ribbons and if you'd like I'd be glad to show you. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Take your mark over there. Thank you. Spain. Mexico left Central America for the exotic culture of India. How are you? Good. Fine, thanks. thank you. Good. Now, Mexican food and Indian food are both notoriously spicy, right? Yeah. So what do they do for heartburn in India? Well, they have this thing called roti and curry, and it's uh, it's a sauce uh, with a tortilla. It's similar to Mexico. In Mexico, we have this tortilla, and that's the uh, curry, and the roti, it's the sauce. It's pretty good, though. Oh, I'm getting heartburn just listening to it, no, but it sounds no, good. No, it's great. It's great. You should taste it. So what did you learn about the men in India? The men, oh, well, I, mean, I learned that men are really respect in India. It's uh, the highest uh, position. And, uh, well, family is very important for them. Well, that's very good to learn. What's the greatest similarity, would you say, between your country and India? The greatest what, sorry? The greatest similarity. What, what, what is uh, very similar, close, close related? Well, I find that moral values are very important in New India as well as in Mexico. So I think that's a big similarity. Thank you. Okay, before going, I just say, Apkeseje Miranam Silvia E. A. Cheje. Mexico. Jamaica got the dish on pasta, teaming up with Italy. Yes. Oh, this would be good. Very good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Now, if you met a guy in Italy who didn't speak a word of English, how would you ask him out on a date? And can you show us with body language if possible? <laughs> well, first of all, I'd say ciao, buongiorno, come stai, and hopefully he'd say buona grazie. And then I would just say, you know, you know, let's go to the movies. <laughs> Now, you're uh, a certified aerobics instructor, yes. right? What did you learn about fitness in, in Italy? Well, definitely in Italy, they're very fitness conscious. You see, um, it's very important to them to look very good because we know Italy is the fashion capital of the world. And so they definitely do go to the gym regularly. And my particular partner, Gloria Bellici, she swims a lot. Oh, that's good fitness for sure. Now, how, how would you say, hey, mom, in Italy? Well, I don't know how to say a man, but I know how to say no problem, because in Jamaica we say that all the time, no problem, man, and it's non c'è problema. <laughs> Thank you very much. Jamaica. <laughs> Puerto Rico might be ready to ski the Alps, and she was paired with Switzerland. Hello. Hello, good evening. How are you? Now, if you were going to Switzerland tomorrow, what three things would you pack first? For Switzerland? Yes. Mm -hmm. A big coat, skis, and a big bag to fill it with chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you were going to go on a date with a Swiss guy, okay, is it okay to kiss on the first date in Switzerland? Well, Maybe for Switzerland it's okay, yes, it is okay over there, but not for me. That's not part of my value, so I will not kiss the guy on the first stage. Yeah. 
What if he brought you a big bag of chocolate? Well, I'll think it for the next day. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Puerto Rico. Thank you. Puerto Rico. So Philippines got a lesson on South America from a delegate from Guatemala. Hello. Hello, Jack. So now I understand that you love to sing and dance in the Philippines. Did you learn any Guatemalan songs? I did not learn any Guatemalan songs because most Guatemalan, uh, Guatemalan music are mostly instrumental. I learned about their uh, instrument though, which is called marimba. It's like a xylophone. And um, it tells, they also named marimba as a dance in, uh, in oh. Guatemala. So it's also an instrument and a dance. And a dance. I see. Now, you said that women are very modest in the Philippines. How would they compare to the women in Guatemala? Are they also very modest? Well, basically, we have the same uh, culture as in Guatemala because we both have been colonized by the Spaniards. And uh, basically, we are both conservative when it comes to, uh, to how women carry themselves. Right, I see. I know something about you, that you like to watch TV, don't you? Yes. Okay, now, what, what do you think you'd see in Guatemala if you were watching TV? Oh, if I would be watching TV, maybe, perhaps they would have a Discovery Channel there. And if, if Discovery Channel would feature Guatemala, I would like to learn more about Guatemala. I love that channel, when the lions, I love all <laughs> yeah. that. Okay. Philippines, thank, thank you. you. I tell you what, these girls... Right I'm here. They're, they're hot to trot. They are hot and hot. They're on fire. <laughs> Let's take another look at the first five of our top ten delegates. 24-year-old Diana Nojera of Spain works as a model, has just completed an internship in pathological anatomy, and would like to be a lab technician. She's also a champion swimmer and badminton player who loves merengue, disco dancing, skiing, and volleyball. 20-year-old Sylvia Salgado took a year off from school to fulfill her delegate responsibilities in Mexico. She's currently pursuing her degree in business administration and will later try for a master's in languages with hopes of opening a school for languages. Jamaica's Nicole Houghton holds a bachelor's degree in international relations and management. This 24-year-old is fluent in English and French, manages the family pharmacy, loves to cook vegetarian dishes, and is a certified aerobics instructor. She's also the former host of Smile Jamaica. 23-year-old Brenda Lee Lopez stays in shape by running on the treadmill, acting, and modeling. She also loves to visit her Puerto Rico homeland's rainforest. Brenda is going for a degree in business administration in order to open her own modeling agency and is very proud that she helped her mother buy her own home. Miriam Kiambo of the Philippines is 23 and a licensed physical therapist who creates special exercises for her patients. She wants to go for a doctorate in physical therapy in order to own and operate her own clinic. Her only regret is that her work schedule cuts into her exercise routine. Well, Puerto Rico is in the lead right now, but anything, anything can, can happen. happen now. And the singer who's setting the world on fire, Julio Iglesias Jr., is coming up later. And the World Tour competition continues right after this.